right, it's time to rank another soundtrack. And this time I'm continuing the Sonic the Hedgehog series with Sonic and Knuckles. Once again, I'm just ranking the stage themes. So there's no special stage, boss battle music, title screen, etc., etc. The one thing that I was a little bit debating with myself on was whether or not to include the Doomsday Zone. It's technically a zone, so, you know, you'd think, like, okay, this probably should count. But I decided against it only because, for one thing, it's almost kind of like a bonus stage. If you happen, you know, it's only if you collect all the Chaos Emeralds can you get to this zone to begin with. And really, it operates a lot like the final zone in Sonic 1, which I also didn't include in my soundtrack ranking list. So, so I'm going to follow the formula that I had set and not include Doomsday. So with what there is in the game, I have 11 songs altogether, and that includes the Act 1 and Act 2 alternate versions. Although, kind of like Sonic 3, you'll see a lot of them bunched up together because they're often more or less the same song. I'll preface this like I always do by just explaining that this is just my opinion. It's completely arbitrary, not meant to be looked at as a definitive end-all be-all list. It's just my personal choice, and I encourage you to express what your opinion is. If you agree, disagree, etc., I encourage discussion and debate. So without any further ado, let's get on with the list. At number 11, Mushroom Hill Zone Act 1, and number 10, Mushroom Hill Zone Act 2. This one's just dull to me. It doesn't do anything for me, really. I think the biggest problem is that it really just doesn't go anywhere. It's build up the whole time, and that's it. Because of this, there's no payoff, and it makes it repetitive at the same time. There's some decent little additives in Act 2 in the background that give it a little something. So I rank Act 2 higher for that reason alone, but otherwise the whole thing is just whatever. I also don't like it for an opening stage theme at all. I know this wasn't meant to be the first level of the game, it's the second half of what Sonic 3 was supposed to be, blah blah blah. But at the end of the day, we don't really know exactly what the game would have looked like if the full game was released as originally intended even with the Sonic 3 and Knuckles combination. The stage order may have been planned to be completely different originally. The launch base, for example, probably would have been the penultimate stage right before Death Egg. So this is the first stage of Sonic and Knuckles, and it doesn't start the game with a bang like the previous three games did. This song is just sluggish. I know that I mentioned before that I don't factor in how well the song fits within the context of the game as far as my rankings go, and I'm not doing that in this case either, but I feel like it's worth mentioning. Number 9, Sky Sanctuary Zone. This one sounds very triumphant. It seems more like end credits, which it actually is. It doubles as a stage and end credits. So it's quite different in nature from most of the soundtrack for that reason, and it's fine for what it is, but it never felt like a stage song to me. Like I said though, not bad at all, but not great either. Number 8, Flying Battery Zone Act 1. Number 7, Flying Battery Zone Act 2. Now this one sounds more like the sonic flavor that we all know and love. It's very up-tempo. The rhythm section is heavy, the drums and bass are ripping it up, but at the same time, the leads have a vibrant and melodic tone. It's a pretty cool contrast. The most obvious difference between the two versions is the intro before going into the verse. Although I like Act 1's intro more, I gotta give the nod to Act 2. I think it's mixed better. The bass has a better tone to it, and the drums aren't as out front. I think it sounds better this way. The whole thing just sounds more cohesive, I guess. Not compressed, but cohesive. Number 6, Death Egg Zone Act 2, and number 5, Death Egg Zone Act 1. This is another fast-paced, white-knuckle ride. 
even more so than Flying Battery. Just to note, it's a cool song to listen to in headphones with the way some of the sounds are panned. It bounces back and forth from the left and right speaker constantly. It's, it's all over the place, which fits the chaotic nature of the song. I mean, it's 150 miles an hour. I like Act 1 more. I think the instrumentation choices were better. It's a better tone overall. And there's more of that crazy panning going on in Act 1. The drumming in this one is just awesome. If it were played by a live drummer, then it would be a hell of a workout. Number 4, Lava Reef Zone Act 1. Lava Reef is the only zone in the game where the two acts have completely different songs. Act 1 has an upbeat, bob your head groove to it, and there's so much going on at once. The bass line, the synth sequence, and then of course the lead riff, which is pretty good in the verse, but it really comes together in the refrain. And then you've got all these background bits sprinkled in there. Kind of a call and response with the lead. Well written and well produced. Number three, Lava Reef Zone Act Two. This one doubles with the Hidden Palace Zone, which makes me think that this one was originally meant just for Hidden Palace, and that there was supposed to be some other song that sounded more like uh, Lava Reef Act One just like the rest of the soundtrack, and it never was completed for some reason. I don't know, it's just odd that this song was used twice, and at the same time, it sounds nothing like its Act 1 counterpart. I don't know. Anyway, this is a huge change of pace from the rest of the soundtrack, and really the rest of the series, so it's quite distinct. The lead riff is simple, and it repeats itself throughout most of the song, but there are a lot of nuances. Like, there are a couple other variations of the riff, there's a key change, and the parts where the riff doesn't play gives you a chance to hear all the other nuances. Like, the percussion is a lot busier and more interesting than you might be expecting. The bass sound is... it sounds like the shield when you get the shield in the game, but a lower pitch. And then there's a lot of contrast here. You've got the busy synth sequence along with the slower lead riff, and the mood of the song in general has this combination of dark and vibrant at the same time. It's really one of the more intriguing songs in the library. It's not as good of a companion to the fast-paced nature of the game as much as it is an interesting song to just listen to on its own. Number two, Sandopolis Zone Act 1. Number one, Sandopolis Zone Act 2. I effin' love Sandopolis. It's probably my favorite Eastern Egyptian desert themed music in all of video games. Both versions are almost the same arrangement wise, but Act 2 is more refined. There seemed to be more care put into the production of it. The instrumentation is better basically all around. The heavy, fuzzy synth bass in the intro and in the refrain really does it for me. That's the kicker. And there's little nuances like the chimey bells that have more reverb in Act 2. It's not just these quick hits. Little things like that make a huge difference. Also, the slightly slower tempo, I think, is an improvement. So, that does it for this list. Here's a quick recap. At number 11, Mushroom Hill Zone Act 1. Number 10, Mushroom Hill Zone Act 2. Number 9, Sky Sanctuary Zone. Number 8, Flying Battery Zone Act 1. Number 7, Flying Battery Zone Act 2. Number 6, Death Egg Zone Act 2. Number 5, Death Egg Zone Act 1. Number 4, Lava Reef Zone Act 1. Number 3, Lava Reef Zone Act 2, slash Hidden Palace. Number 2, Sandopolis Zone Act 1. And number 1, Sandopolis Zone Act 2. So that's it for this list. 
What was your opinion of it? Do you agree or disagree? What other choices would you have made? What is your list? Feel free to leave your opinions in the comments. So that's it for this list, and I'll see you next time.